there everybody and welcome to a little tutorial on how to install Starters Order 6 and the Start It mod. So, what I've got here is, I've got a bunch of files as you can see here, which is basically the Start It mod that I've unzipped and collated, plus a few of my own graphics. I've got the uh, TVG skin graphics here, I've got some extra ones here like my custom blackboard um, you open with paint so you can see that's one I've made myself just copy and paste in different parts together and the uh, stamp bar mod so there's a couple of things in there horse portraits of course in there I don't like any of the jockey real jockey names real jockey portraits etc so I take those out of the mod um, but this is basically how I set it up and I keep this for when I need to sort out the game when I need to reinstall it when I need to update it I've got all these folders here in downloads and SO for starters order so that's kind of what we've got but to start with let me move that out of the way we do have here the starters orders game which I'm gonna start so wait did I just overwrite part of my game? I mean, that's going to suck if I did. So yeah, I don't want it in there. I want it in SO6. So get a second game going. So what you want to do to start with is head over here to the official forum, starsorders.com, and then you'll be able to find the mod from there. So you're looking here at forums, then you're looking at game mods, and then it'll be the started mod. And if you can't find it, if it's not on the first page, it will be here, the first link in this mod database, which I also have the horse portrait mod I've got all but one of the resize buttons. I use most of those. Um, if you want the, the names and portraits, you can have that one there. Um, Start It Mod does actually include some of that anyway. There's different skins as well if you want. And I also use the increment bar. So it's up to you. There's a lot of good mods in here and there's a lot more just sort of in the pages here that you can go find. But all we do is go page one of the start it us mod and that'll take you back to this page where i was just now so you can download all the versions if you want he's got a new international one as well if you want to uh try that um but ultimately if you want to play the latest start it mod version you're just going to need these three here so the data, the courses, and the graphics, and there's an update here for graphics. Now, the only thing extra I've got here is a sales schedule, which basically includes um, uh, does that not? Hmm. Let's, let's just go for sale. Oh, there's no. Yeah, I see. I was looking for Farsig, but it's there's no R in it, but yeah, so it's got like sales races in it. So that's kind of a different thing. So some good two year olds will go up in those races, the best of them will win them, and they'll be up for auction at the end of those. So how are we getting on with that? Almost halfway on that, that's good. So that is in these uh pages somewhere. I think it's like 59 to 62 somewhere around that area um, basically if you just search for my name in here so if we we know we're gonna get two per page so we're looking for more than two so if you go to page 64 and then press F3 so we got two there and we'll go again and we got two again 
this will be the easiest way of doing it I'll show you what page it's on just in case you want the sale schedule that is what I am running so if you actually want the same thing there we go any chance we can please get an updated version of the sales schedule yada 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 so that is the link right there it's on page 60 so I was right I was right so this explains a little bit I mean that's just the update that he's on about this is actually the reply to me so kind of what I asked what it is and how it works and the link instead so MJ is very active on the forums and if you do post in this uh, thread at all there is a very very high chance that you actually get sort of very quick feedback so he's very helpful guy very nice guy done a lot of work on this mod through a lot of versions and believe me this is a lot of work um, but I do think it makes the game so much better especially you know it is a US schedule that's what I play that's kind of what I'm interested in the Kentucky Derby the Triple Crown races you know from Secretariat and then watching American Pharaoh last year it's kind of you know finally complete the Triple Crown the first horse in however many years just like Secretariat before him so really really sort of that has got its hooks into me that and the uk grand national that's all i really know about horse racing i'm not a huge horse racing fan i've never gone to a day at the races or bet money on horses apart from maybe when i was younger a few really really small bets kind of like a family thing with the grand national my dad won a bet on mini homer which was owned by freddie star that's about all i can remember about that one etc etc but this is a really good mod it's a great game anyway this adds another layer to it i feel and uh, it really does get me into it so are we there we are there great so i want to run so when you run the game the first time i'm just going to show you this as well it'll uh it'll come up looking kind of like this so this is how uh it all loads up i load it up in a window you press space and then you see here your game is out to date so your game's out of date that's fine you click on that and it will update you to the latest version or the latest version it can then you run it again if the windows you know if this icon's there again you hit it again and so on and so on now it just so happens i've got that taken care of but um yeah not only is mj great but there's a few good people on the forums you can jump here into general discussion pj has got some great knowledge on the game he is very very willing to share that knowledge uh, one of the top breeders and sort of just thinkers i believe of the game so you can see here you've got a couple of playthroughs as well on youtube so up go check that one out teleprompter is doing his series so you can go check that one out you can see what i was reading just recently was how a two-year-old stamp bar comes in here's pj um telling us how he prepares things for the online league which is player versus player in on a different website that basically this forum when people have got bored of playing the single player game they breed horses export them and insert them into the league so he kind of like spends a bit of detail shows you a, a few of his horses how they've developed etc etc so a few of the the famous people on the forums githyanki you know ngp see quite a bit serious chill who did one of the mods simple minds is there pj again like there's some really good people on this forum that don't mind sharing their knowledge and helping out so you know as an aside head over to the forums check it out you're gonna have a good time it's going to be all the help you need believe me they've helped me out a bunch even other people asking questions and reading the forum in general for old questions that have been asked maybe not me asking anything i've still learned an absolute ton so when you've got these folder uh, these files basically downloaded what i like to do is put them into their folders so You'll unzip them down and they will eventually come down to a 3D, a data and a graphics folders. 
if you've got more than one of each, you sort of merge them in. But I like to get down to this point. Now there will be a file when you download this that helps you install. I don't have that right now. So maybe it'll be worth me downloading the data because it won't take long. It's done. So extract to start the data. I can get rid of that. Drop that in there. Let's get back on here. So in the data file, you'll see the data. No, that's not the one I wanted. Why did I do data? Courses. Courses are the difficult one. It's also the bigger one. Again, though, that doesn't take very long. We've got a very good internet connection here. So 540 meg, and that'll be done in just a little while. So we can go back there, but that should be the tricky one to get through because this 3D folder is nested inside another folder and there's instructions how to prepare it. So I'd actually prefer to have that file re-downloaded. So let me kick out of that one. Wait for this to finish being scanned. There we go. So let's extract that one out. And this is the main bulk of it. These are the courses which have been handmade by MG as well, using the in-game editor where you can design your courses. So a lot of work goes into that, making the courses look like their real life counterparts, but also making them look as good as possible. So, you know, trying to improve the textures, the background pictures, etc., etc. Make sure he's got everything right. And, um, he does a very, very, very good job at the, for my opinion. So if we go in here, SO6. So this is kind of what you get to begin with. Now everything here is going to be going into the 3D, the data and the graphics folders here. You don't need to search for them. They are right here. So we'll come back to this in a minute but it's very easy to find them so whatever you installed the game 3d data graphics and we have 3d data graphics you can see that it's going to be an easy replace on those folders not quite yet but almost so let's just wait for this to be done okay we're done with that and i've drunk things in so you know it kind of uh, nests things in, but here, the graphics, these are the portraits, you get all the real sort of tipster portraits, you get all the jockey portraits, the owners, etc, etc. So that's the kind of stuff I take out, I just keep the courses, but it's up to you if you want to play with those in, go for it, it does make your game look better. Now most of this mod is drag and drop. The only thing that really isn't are going to be anything with two at the front, all these courses. So we need to go into 3D data, into courses, and make sure that all these here that have two in front of them, because that's America, we need to take those out. So any clashes between here and here, you need to delete from your game folder. So one is UK, two is America. I'm not sure what the other ones are then. Like four is, um, I don't really, yeah, four's Ireland. So what's three? Australia, because of Brisbane. Five is gonna be France. Six is gonna be uh, Japan, 7 is the United Arab Emirates, 8 is, I can't remember where that is, 9, Canada, and then 10 is somewhere 
else? Can't remember that one. Oh, that's Germany, isn't it? Eight. Hasting, Otaki, Trentum. I'm not sure where that is. And Shatin is Hong Kong. So that's 11. So that's kind of how it works. So we're looking at two because this is a US mod. Now it does have quite a lot of these courses in it. So you just want to make sure you're going to go through what I like to do. I like to go through here sort of letter by letter. So you look in here at the A's, for example. So aqueduct, you know, that isn't in there. Rapport isn't in there, etc., etc. Until you make sure you take all those out of here. Then you know you can just copy and paste over. But this is kind of how it all appears when you download the mods. I do like to get into these folders. So when we've actually got rid of all the tools from here, that clash, best thing about this mod, and I know we are going to get some coarse clashes, but it doesn't really matter. Hold on, we're in the 3D folder. There we go. So 3D data graphics. I like the whole control when I'm dragging over so it copies instead of uh, instead of takes things out of here. And then it's just going to do those in the background here. So we'll wait for that to get going and finished. But that would basically install the mod for you. Now one thing you do want to know, uh, what one thing I didn't do is up date status orders. This is a patch to upgrade to I think 1.81 or something so this is the latest patch I have that's why that's in there so you're gonna want to install the game and update it fully before you install the mod so that'll get going don't really need to do it right now um, and then the sales schedule well, that goes in documents, starters order six. So this is your folder where all these uh So that's the file you're looking at. Um, this is where you get all your save games, etc. So your save games are actually under here. You can see I've got slot eight. Um, your transfer files are in here as well for your horse transfers. Sadly, all mine are kind of empty right now. But uh, your, set, your schedules are going to go into exports. And then inside exports, you're going to look for the schedules folder. America is number two, so you're going to want to put that in two. And that is that file. You can see both those are exactly the same. So that's kind of where you want to put it. So documents, status orders, exports, schedules, two, if you're using the sales schedule. Or if you're using any other downloaded schedule, you're going to want to find the uh, one it applies to and you're going to put it in there. So I believe UK, US, Australia and Ireland, which are the four countries you can play in. So one, two, three, four. Make sure you're putting it in the right countries folder. So, like I say, 2 is American, which is where this plays, so that's why it's in there. And that's about all there is to it. As long as you make sure that these courses here don't clash. And I know the generic ones are in both, as far as I'm aware. So, they're definitely in there. There might be one or two others. There used to be more. But I think that they've been... Change. I think MJ has actually changed a couple of names here of folders. They don't overwrite each other, so it's less work for you to install. Um, at least that's what I've found. There's been less clashes. But as long as you get that part right, everything else, the entities and race files inside 3D, the data files and any graphic files, they are just drag and drop. So, easy to download, easy to install permanently delete thank you um, but yeah it's not as hard as people seem to think it is to get this sorted the trickiest bit is making sure you've got the schedule in the right place so let me just fire up my other start disorders the one I previously had installed okay and when you do install the game is 
gonna come on your desktop as SOA 6 full by the way so that's just something there 1.081 it looks like there's actually an update past that so I'm probably gonna go and update my versions after this video which is kind of interesting but yeah let's see there's my game but all you're gonna need to do is start a new game and then if you have included any schedules they will appear here as long as you're in the right nation so for me I select the sales schedule I do like to enable the replay so I can watch the races back in case I skip them by accident especially for YouTube uh, the simple training model if you want help on the uh, manual training head over to the forums there's some good knowledge on there it's just something I don't do um, you can have different games here betting only you can have a uh, training game here so you can't actually buy and sell horses I don't think um, but yeah the owner game you can see basically is the full version that I play so this is how I set it up if you do want to auto run let's say that you want to auto run a season now that's going to put you in a year in advance which means that the breeding barn has been populated and you know the game has gone on a little bit so it's up to you you can sort of push the game forward a little bit I normally don't but it's just start a new game and that'll uh, take you to here where you can add legends select the flat horses jumps horses deselect all and it's actually got the uh, the default what it'll suggest to begin with realistic retirements or careers you've got um, if you want to include them manually you can put them in there if they wear the realistic silks you can just see a little bit of information repeats here means that when they retire they will come back into the game after that so they'll consistently go through the game if you do include a legend bet on them in the first race you see a legend because that'll help build your bank which is very important in the early game and the legends for good reason are super horses and will probably beat most of the day one competition without any problems whatsoever so available horses you can't really do anything here because you've got no money etc and that just sets you up now this is a normal one so less money less horses etc you need a horse transport that always comes up so to begin the game just go buy a trailer I like to set all these on to high you can sort of set up the name of your farm here so you can see it changes things there then when you click on this you'll see that this has changed in the mod because everything now has realistic names and also in the correct position so what I like to do is go in here Kinland they've got some good sales usually in real life and of course the home of the Kentucky Derby is Churchill Downs so the higher this is here that's kind of a multiplier for your expenses you want to be over here sort of New Yorkish area it's gonna be times three now you want to jump around you can see the more rural you are it's level one now one thing I really do like is you can just put yourself like smack dab here next to the Churchill Downs next to the Keeneland sales you know in this nice little area the bluegrass country of Kentucky and you don't pay a lot of money for it I really really like that fix your stable that's now where you are based and you're good to go time to look at your horses figure out Ugh, terrible Ugh, terrible and this one's gonna be absolutely terrible so I would sell all those horses in fact I'd probably quit and start a new game because there's nothing to work with there and you're not gonna buy anything at auctions so it depends how you want to play it but really that's um, just a little look at how to start up the game how to 
install download and install the start it mod you can see I just clicked on the thing there quits the game and it immediately jumps you into the patch so that's 1.083 that's going to be the new latest patch so I'm going to upgrade my game to that and hopefully everything will be good because I'm going to reinstall uh, the start it mod and yeah I'm just going to do what I've told you guys to do in this video and then my game will be fully updated so I hope this video has made sense I hope you now understand how to install a mod on this game and uh, yeah if, if you are on Steam if you are on Steam then you're going to want to go to your program files Steam Steam Apps Common find your game start as orders and then you're okay so navigate to steam go find the steam apps folder the common folder then find your game and then you can just mod it as usual although in steam you're going to want to turn off like uh, a bunch of stuff so the 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 start as orders i've got a steam version so in here it would be like update so um, yeah only update when I launch it or something like that I can't remember how do you actually turn off updates you might have to look at that but there'll be something in here where it doesn't update and it doesn't kind of uh, overwrite your mods but there's your 3d folder there's your data folder graphics folder there 3d courses exactly the same as the other way so if you've got steam again very easy to do so i don't really play the steam version much but yeah it's nice having it especially if i'm away from the computer i can just log into my steam account download it on someone else's computer and play there if i want to but uh yeah that's gonna wrap up the video guys that is how to install Starters Order 6, how to update it, how to download and install the Start Date mod from uh, MJ Tanks 11 on the official forums. Great place to get knowledge and increase the enjoyability of the game, in my opinion, via mods. So, that's all it is, guys. I hope this makes sense. I hope you've enjoyed. Come back soon for more content. Like I say, I'm going to go update my game and then we'll have a look at seeing what we can do with my ongoing save. New video to that coming out. I've got the uh, Motorsport Manager one as well as the Starters Orders one running at the moment. Maybe other ones starting up soon. But yeah, until then guys, thanks very much for being here. Y'all take it easy and I'll see you next time.